On BBC One Now, we once again turn the tables as the stars pay a surprise tribute to their makers in Thanks a Million. Welcome to the show that's full of surprises and proof that we all need help at some time in our lives. This week, our star guest is Sean Williamson, who plays Barry Evans in EastEnders, a man who recently has had his fair share of ups and downs. <laughs> Welcome, Sean Williamson. I've actually met Hi. you before. Really? I saw you singing at the Regency Rooms in London, but oh. we're not here to talk about your singing techniques, although you have a great voice. It's a blast from the past for you. We're back at your old primary school, Holy Family, in Maidstone, Kent. What's it like being back here? Uh, better than making coffee for Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> Are all your memories happy ones? Because, you know, being at primary yeah. school is finding your feet in life, isn't it? Yeah, no, I'm very happy. I, won't, I wouldn't be back here otherwise. No, great. I had, I had some great times here, definitely. And as a little boy, what were you like? I bet you were cheeky. A bit cheeky. Yeah. Bit cheeky. Um, I was fat, <laughs> so, uh, I, I, so that I didn't get bullied. You know, I, I, I developed this method of... Uh, I just laughed at everyone's jokes and agreed with them. And it's a method I still use, and it works every time. We're here for a very special reason. That's right. Who are we here to thank? Right, we're here to thank my first headmaster, Mr O'Shea, mm -hmm. who was the first headmaster of this school. And uh, I was here for five years, and he was here all that time. And um, he's a great guy. And Mr O'Shea doesn't know we're here. So what's the deal? What's the scam? OK, he thinks we're making a BBC education video about the primary school. But we're not. Uh -huh. Apparently, you've got a bit of a coat peg story. Oh, yes. Yes, we go. Have a look. this one. This reminds me of my primary school with all these coat pegs. But what's the deal with these particular coat pegs? Well, this was the exact spot I had to stand when I was sent out of my classroom for pulling Amanda Butch's hair when I was about nine years old. Mm -hmm. and I had to stand here, which was bad enough. But Mr O'Shea spotted me on one of his regular rounds of the school. And I heard this huge voice, Williamson, what are you all doing standing there? And what did you do? I just buried myself amongst all the coats and pegs, just trying to make myself look as invisible as possible, really. Well, Sean, he's in the building, so we need to... Oh. Yeah, that's not a very good hiding place, though, is it? So, any other suggestions? Should we try the bike shed? Yeah. I don't know about you, I was quite scared of my headmistress. I used to wet my pants every time I saw her. <laughs> What's Mr O'Shea like as a headmaster? He was great. I mean, yeah? he could make you wet your pants, too, but he, <laughs> he, he had that sort of... He was almost like, I was imagine, an army officer, you know, he had that respect for him as well, and... Do you know what I mean? As, as well as a sort of healthy fear. He doesn't know, obviously, that we're here. No. How's he going to react when he finds out, one, it's not for BBC education, and two, you're here. <laughs> he'll be gutted he's wasted his time on that speech. Yeah. No, it, it, I think he'll take it very well. I think, I think he'll be well, pleased to see me. Please be pleased to see me. OK, it's time to go. OK. The pressure's on. Um, I don't know about you, is it like this when you're doing EastEnders? Uh, this doesn't even bear any relation. I'm petrified. Come on, let's go. Come on.